Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dovla and this is my first tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to 3D model the Counter-Strike 1.6 players in Cinema 4D. Uh, 3D models and maps uh, will be in description so you don't have to bother finding them. So let's get to work. You want to open your Cinema 4D version 12. Ok, when you have opened, go file and we want to import our 3D map in Cinema 4D, file, open, find your maps and we're going to use Dest2 for example. Ok, we have the map imported, so as you can see. now we're going to import our 3D players. Go File, Merge, find your players in Models. Okay, as you can see, it has imported the whole, all players. Uh, and you want to use just one for example then select all and deselect the one you want to use for example uh, gorilla uh, and delete the rest of them now you find gorilla on your map and bring it to the place where you want to model and animate Okay, I bring them. I bring him to the B. Here it is. He's as you can see. He is. It says that he is untextured. And let's see. Yes, he is black. He don't have texture. But we're going to change that fast. Find he, the. Gorilla here in your material bar. Here it is. Double click, go color, texture, and load image. Find the uh, find the gorilla texture here. Here it is. Gorilla. Open. Do you want to create copy of document location? Yes. And here it is. Now he is full textured. Sorry about this. And yeah. So let's get to model. Uh, we are going to use this uh, key frames on every movement. So let's get to start first you want to unpack uh, the whole gorilla here uh, a reference is his arms, legs, head and you have to unpack them all uh, we do that because the when we move now for example his hand it will move all only the bone but when we unpack here and uh, do what we are going to do now uh, we will put together arm and bone so when we move the our bone it will move all the hand ok uh, so we have unpacked the whole gorilla and uh, go to the last gorilla and delete this uh, white object Delete it, select the last skin object and hold shift and select the second, so reference select, not the gorilla but the reference and go character command bind. Ok, we put together our bones and our uh, model here so let's see 
let's go right arm for example okay as you can see it goes like this so let's model animate right arm I'll put it down left arm same Okay. There it is. Uh, player. So we're going to keyframe the whole movement. As I said, uh, you can click out a keyframe and add a keyframe on every movement. So add keyframe on zero and go a couple of frames forward for example and move your hand or whatever you want to animate like this or this and for example head we will move it like here ok now go again couple of frames forward I look up <laughs> uh, I will bring back the hand and move left hand like this when you are done framing and animating you uncheck the auto keyframe and you can see what is happening uh, camera is also uh, moving as you move it so here you go now I want to show you uh, if you get the pop-ups uh, when you move your uh, model for example uh, let's see um, let's see let's see leg as you you see this little pop-up uh, we want to change that you see it like here it's like a little triangle it's really annoying so you want to uh, so what you want to do is to go to the last gorilla and uh, wait uh, object here double click on it so it can be editable and select the part of the body you uh, animated and where is the pop-up uh, I use it right tight uh, and go slightly to the part and uh, you have this circle you want to put them in the end of the pop-up and uh, left click it as you can see it is uh, disappearing slightly uh, and you want to click it uh, at least on the as you can see now it is better you uh, you have uh, if it pop-ups go on the other uh, part of the body for example if you move the knee and it goes to the uh, foot then you select the foot and do the same thing here As you can see, we delet deleted that pop-up, and now it's it looks nice. So uh, you don't have to click it too much because there you're going to get the hole in his in his leg like this. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> it is funny. 
funny looking so that is it on every movement if you get that that pop up just double click on the weight object here or preference what is it uh, and select your part of the body where is the pop up and just left click it until it disappear so that's basically it you can see on every moment the pre-render pre let's see yeah, it's a little slow I know but what you gonna do yeah it looks good no pop-ups and that will be it so as I said on the beginning models and maps will be in description have fun editing modeling and subscribe for more tutorials and that would be it peace